In this video we're going to talk about how to create a uh, social network for your classroom using Ning.com. And as you can see I'm on my Ning homepage. Uh, you can register for free and when you do you'll create a page like this one. Uh, from here we want to go to create your own social network. And uh, as you'll see this is very simple. Uh, name your social network. So you can pick anything you want. Uh, let's say I do Mr. Barnes um, uh, Community. And uh, you can, as I said, it can be anything you want. Um, the, the web address will be whatever you put in front of .ning.com. And it all ha has to be all one space. So we'll just call this Mr. Barnes uh, Community. .ning.com create and if um, the name's taken it'll let you know that now here's where you need to make uh, some important decision and, and that is here with privacy if you're using this with a classroom uh, you're probably going to want to make it private so um, that way only your students can come onto your community and, and this is important because uh, otherwise anyone will be able to access it and that's not going to be very good for privacy. Uh, you can add these other uh, tagline description and, and all of those uh, if you want to and I, I think it'll let us go on without it so we are going to hit next and um, from here you can set up your community okay so you see I've got my um, the name of my community up here and then uh, these are the things that will appear on my site once it's created so up here on the left hand side it's going to show the recent activity over here it's going to show the members which I presume are going to be your students uh, right now it has photos videos events uh, you may want to change this around if, if, if I don't like this uh, photos up at the top then I, I can move that um, I can get rid of it if I want to maybe I'm not going to have any video on my site and I'm going to drag it over here and now video is gone completely uh, maybe I want to blog on my site in which case I'm going to move blog over and um, I may want it this way maybe I'm going to put that above photos and and there's there's a lot of things that I can do on here and you can adjust this at any time so let's say I do that right now and I just hit next now I'm gonna create the appearance uh, of my community I'm gonna pick um, from any of a wide variety of themes and once again you can change these anytime you want to do that so uh, right now it defaults to this stone washed um, but let, let's just say um, I decide to pick social blue I'll click on that and then here are some other things down here that you can pick on you, you uh, click on you can go to advanced options you can go to different options you can change the, the colors and uh, but again for right now uh, we're gonna go to launch because you can come back to this stuff anytime you like so here's what we've got this is my uh, classroom community site now mr. Barnes community and um, you know you've got your cool little uh, um, banner up here with the people talking and um, at any rate now my my s network and my community for my classroom is created and it is ready to be used so the the next step would be to get my students here and um, there's a variety of ways to do that and uh, uh, what I can do is I could come up and copy this and and I, I can go to I have a classroom website so I can go to my classroom website and I've got uh, a class activities page and I could paste that link into here and direct my students to it that way uh, if I'm in a computer lab I could write this up on the board and have them type it in uh, and then they can come in and they can register um, there's a lot of different things you can do but ultimately you want to get your kids on board and then uh, as we continue uh, in this section of the course we'll talk more about how to make use of your classroom community so that is ning.com